Wow, it's, uh, I want to get you my sunrise picture, skunk rise. Uh, <laughs> I'm headed off the beach right now and my warranty out back. It's supposed to be a real nice day out today, so we'll give this a try. Folks, a great outdoor provision, Hobie. Everyone made this exchange absolutely painless. So a big thank you to those guys. It's a great shop here in Wilmington. And uh, we're gonna do some jigging off the beach. We'll try, holy shit, it's so hot already. It's supposed to be like 95 again. I was like 10 o'clock, I'm off the water. Uh, we're gonna do, do some jigging off the beach. See if we can find anything. Whew. We'll try for Barracuda too, but I have a feeling 10 minutes of trolling, I'm gonna be beat. Not a bump from a Cuda, which isn't a good sign. I don't like that. That means one of two things. No fish or sharks. Well, sharks aren't good and no fish isn't good. So. By the way, that's not good. But we got a lot of bait in this uh, area code. Threadfin herring, stuff like that. But um, yeah, let's just try jigging first. Scattered structure down here. I mean, this is a big area I'm fishing, so you gotta work it a little bit. Try to locate some life. Might be a lot of flounder out here. There might be a big donut. I haven't flounder hit fished here in a little bit, so I'm guessing with you guys, look at this adventure. That's a flounder. Yep. Got, got. The morning started. It's a gulf flounder. She seems to be the uh, popular flounder out here this time of year. Um, they don't get that big. They get up to like 20 inches, maybe 21, somewhere around there. But I'm out here keeping meat, so let's see. It's definitely a keeper. 15 and a half. I'll put them back. We'll look for some bigger ones, right? They look more like the fluke or summer summer flounder. Broke off our first jig. That's okay though. All right. Got him. It took me a minute, but I think we found one. Better fish. First one fits the bill. Keep that one. Southern flounder. It's pretty tail. So the southern flounders have no spots. I say it all the time, but people always ask these questions. Well, it took a minute to figure it out. We picked our first flounder. It's probably about 18, 19 inches. Uh, just jigging on uh, that loose, stru loose structure. But uh, yeah, it's some milder structure. Um, it's a three quarter ounce whip tail shed. With three quarter ounce jig head with the whip tail shad. A little sweet and procure. Um, fishing about 45 feet of water, so not bad. Yeah. 19 incher. So I'll take it. Drop you fish on big steps. I said this is a 50 foot structure. So it's not big. Not at all, actually, really. Um it's got a lot of heavy snags on it and some milder ones. It seems like the, the nice southern flounder do tend to orient to the heavy snags some days, but it, they, they'll move. It's really just important to work the whole, the whole picture, you know? That's more important than anything. There's sometimes a hot spot, but it could all be kind of hot sometimes. Good fish. Good fish. Another nice one. Good Carolina quality, qualitad. 18. Kind of a 
twin of the other one. We went down to the Mini Max sheds. We basically have no drift here, so I want to make sure I'm hitting every corner. Oh, oh, oh. I want to make sure I'm hitting every corner of these, these structures here. Uh, I'm not covering much ground. It is sticky too, so it's fun, fun fishing. Smaller one. Ah, look at that. Gulf flounder and southern flounder living in harmony. I think that's a gulf, but it might be another southern. That's actually another southern, yeah. Solid hit that I had there, man. And I think he was right next to that structure. I missed him and then I bounced a couple more times. And that's it. How this goes, man. And that was another decent fish for sure. Got him. Is that a flounder? It is. It's just about to move to a different spot. It took about two hours we picked our limit. A little under two. Some decent fish. Mostly uh, 18s, right? Maybe our first gulf flounder of size. Kept one maybe that was like 17 and the rest were 18 to 19. So not bad. Take it. Gulf flounder and southern flounder living in harmony. No fluke today. I'm going to get a single fluke. All right, uh, I'm going to work my way back to the beach. I trolled around for Barracuda for like an hour and a half. I didn't get I had one blow up and that was it. So no, no hits really. I ended up with five keeper flounder, a couple 18s, 119. It's a little different on the Cuda versus last year. It's just not happening with them. And there's, you know, not seen Spanish mackerel or anything like that. But been a strange summer for most of the coast. Sounds like the better fishing is definitely up north uh, this year. Learning things as I go, as I'm very new to this area. Uh, trying to apply what I learned last year from this area, just from trial and error. And it's like almost like I just moved here again, because uh, it feels like every time I just don't know what to expect and it's um, not really repeating itself or too consistent. The flatties have been consistent. That's it. Everything else has been kind of a kind of a crapshoot. So anyway, uh, we're gonna work our way inshore right now and fish along the beach quick. Uh, see what's doing. See how crowded it is. Gonna make a very dedicated effort not to drag this boat on oysters ever. And the other thing is, I'm gonna change out my hullivator rack. My thule rack may be in the heat and the traveling. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Could have done something to this kayak. The last kayak, it was, you know, I was traveling the coast, it was 90 degrees out, that Thule Hullivator rack is kind of tight on these Hobies. Maybe the heat didn't let it contrast and properly and cause that drive well split. Um, I've never split a drive well myself. I've had a customer do it uh, years back, but I'm gonna try my best to take whatever preventative, measure, preventative measures uh, in the future. Uh, to ensure the longevity of this Outback. Honestly, this Outback probably will not see any back bay use. I kind of made up my mind. We're gonna use that Predator PDL, all my inshore stuff, and the Outback is only gonna see ocean sand surf launches. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, man. We, we need a good tug, right? Let's see if we can find something. It's not a shark. We're not looking for sharks, we're looking for scales. Something with scales. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah. Something like Thin Lizzy. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He did it. What is wrong with this fish?